Hi, this is Emma Roberts, tech champion for e-commerce for the Digital Culture Network. In this episode, we speak with Art UK, a cultural education charity who have helped organisations deliver their collections online to a global audience. To date, they have over 3,000 UK public collections online. This video looks at how the Art UK shop is providing collections with an opportunity to generate additional online revenue. We also hear from Manchester Art Gallery and ask why they decided to partner with Art UK for their online shop. I'm Andy Ellis, I'm Director of Art UK. We started as the Public Catalogue Foundation. We're a, we're a charity in 2003. The initial um, ambitious project was to, to catalogue the nation's oil painting collection. And a key part of our you know, the raison d'etre is that the art that we own as a nation is mostly in store. The vast majority of it is in store or in buildings without routine access. And much of that art has not been photographed. So being able to make that accessible is absolutely key to, to, to what we do. The leading part of the infrastructure is the, is the Art UK website. Associated with that are a number of sub-sites. Um, so for example, we have the Art Detective site, which helps our collections fill in missing information about um, artworks, artists, and um, sitters. Uh, we have plans for a tagger website to allow the nation to, to, to tag the nation's art collection. Um, obviously the shop is a key aspect of that infrastructure. And then behind the scenes, there are a couple of portals the collections have access to, um, the collections portal and the permissions portal, which allow collections to add artworks to the site and determine the licensing around the images that we put online for the collections. I'm Camilla Stewart, Head of Commercial Programmes and Collection Partnerships for Art UK. Collections that are joining the shop now they can sign up to sell prints, um, both framed and unframed. They can sign up to sell licenses and they can sign up to sell their own merchandise. The shop is set up so that most of the fulfilment is done through Heritage Digital. They fulfill prints and licenses, so we don't get directly involved in, in manufacturing any products. Collections, if they are uploading their own products, these are usually products that they have developed for their they're in gallery or they're in museum retail store. It's important to say that Art UK doesn't take a share of the revenue. Um, the supplier who obviously does the work in fulfilling the prints, they take a share of the revenue to cover the costs that they incur in fulfilling the prints, but the rest of the revenue goes back to the collection to support, to support the collection in whatever way they see fit. Hi, I'm Charles McKenzie, Head of Commercial at Manchester Art Gallery. So at the time that Art UK came to us, I'd only been with the company for a few months, so I had considered the option of adding online retail, but again, lack of resources, lack of time and staff and money meant that we had no immediate plans to set up any kind of online shop. I'd worked on online shops in a few other venues and I knew the amount of time and labour that was involved in setting something up from scratch and there was so much other work to get done in the physical shop that I knew that we were several years off being able to do anything online. Physical fulfilment of, of orders is actually done by our shop team, so orders come in throughout UK, they get emailed across to us, we give it to the shop team, they then pack and post out all of the orders themselves. I would definitely say that people's motivations to buy online are very different to their motivations to buy in the store. When we have people in the gallery and they're coming through the gift shop, we sell a lot of souvenir products, so things that are directly related to the collections and what people have just seen on their visit to the gallery. Whereas online, they're more general gift shoppers. 
or uh, specific academics looking for something in particular. So we don't tend to sell a lot of branded gallery product online, but we do sell a lot of design wares and home wares, an unusual kind of curated selection of gifts. Uh, and we also sell catalogues online, which are very popular with international buyers, so we ship a lot of those abroad. My experience of online retailing is that it takes a lot of time and effort and marketing to really pull in the sales. But we actually went live with our product range in the middle of November, so just in time for the Christmas audience. And our first six week sales were far beyond what I was expecting. A huge range of frames on Art UK, so this was just uh, selecting a real mix and match to show the breadth and variety that's available. I went quite random with the selection and, and made sure that we had everything represented in one way or another. The digitisation we do is, is project based, so um, the first big project was the, the oil paintings and that um, through funding raised publicly and principally privately there actually, um, we um, could offer free digitisation to every public art collection across the UK um, to digitise their, their oil paintings. And similarly now with funding principally from the National Lottery Heritage Fund plus match funders. We are photographing sculptures outdoors, uh, we're recording all the sculptures indoors and photographing 20-25% of those. So those are projects that are funded projects that allow us to, to digitise the nation's art collection in, in a very efficient way. Digital gives us this ability to reach a global audience. I mean, this is free access to, to see the nation's art collection to anyone anywhere in the world. So it means that, you know, a collection in Leeds can share its art with people in, in Sunderland, in Seattle, in Singapore, and all of those people can see it. Digital allows us to reach audiences that wouldn't perhaps normally necessarily connect with culture. So I would say definitely think about who your customer is, the same as you would do for your physical gift shop. Think about the differences of the audience online and what it is they're looking to buy. Uh, another good tip is to think about things that are easy to post. We definitely see, especially around Christmas, lots of orders for things which are light and flat and can be easily shipped. So I think that's a consideration that customers are making when they're ordering online. The third tip would be don't underestimate the time it does take once you're set up to constantly keep adding new products and keeping on top of it and making it fresh and interesting. Digital is just the beginning really and for us you know the, the, the key part of what we do on a daily basis is really making it sing for us, making um, it work to the benefit of our audiences, to the benefit of the team so that we can tell the stories behind the art and engage our audiences in an increasingly appealing way year in, year out. If you're interested in knowing more about how to get involved with Art UK or want to know about further e-commerce solutions or best practice, get in touch with the Digital Culture Network today.